Hey guys, in this video I want to show you the 5C call it chuck that I picked up for the G0602. I actually um, edited this footage before I started the CNC conversion, but I completely forgot about it until one of my subscribers mentioned it. Uh, the 5C call it chuck comes from CDCO, but they don't make a backing plate that will fit the G0602, at least not at the time that I bought mine. And so the backing plate actually comes from Grizzly. You can see there's quite a bit of run out and it's not a very smooth casting, but that's because you're going to have to machine it. Um, I mean, you've got to machine it anyway, so it doesn't really matter that it runs out. I was just testing it um, to show you that it's not really in great shape. Uh, I don't actually have all the dimensions uh, that you'll need to turn this to. Um, all I did was measure the chuck with my calipers and then try and get it close and then uh, just a lot of test fitting um, and uh, actually ended up getting a perfect fit. Um, slides right on, uh, absolutely no wiggle. You could see, maybe you couldn't, I'm doing a little bit of filing. That's to remove the radius down in the bottom of that flange. And uh, you can see I've got witness marks on the chuck and the backing plate. To, that way I can line it up repeatedly every time. And it worked out really well. It was actually a pretty short process. As for mounting the backing plate to the chuck, um, you're going to have to drill and tap three holes. Now, I wasn't really paying attention when I laid mine out and I got my three holes right next to the three original holes, but it doesn't really matter. You can see I didn't kind of, I didn't really do that any particularly accurate way. I just set it on there and was careful not to rotate it, uh, to rotate the two pieces against each other while I used a transfer punch and uh, made these little uh, punch marks. Over here on the mill, I'm just eyeballing it into place and it looks like I didn't actually get very close on this hole, uh, but it still worked. And then I just clamp it down to the table. I've got a kind of a weird shim pack underneath the chuck holding it up. Um, but this uh, went really smoothly. I didn't have any problems. You could easily do this on a drill press. You don't need a mill to do this drilling and tapping. You can see I've got the blue shop towel down just to protect the mill from the uh, this cast iron you know, dust because you don't want it all over the place. But... Yeah, really straightforward, really easy. I didn't have any problems. Um, you know, I was nervous about screwing it up because I didn't want to have to buy another backing plate, but I got it right the first time, uh, which means you can easily get it right the first time. Uh, you can see here uh, the bolt goes in no problem, and I believe this was the third of the three holes. I think I'd already done the other two when I filmed this third one, uh, probably practicing. Uh, and then it just bolts together real easy. Um, the whole thing only took maybe an hour. I mean, it, it was really easy to do. Um, the other thing uh, is the collet set. Now, I got mine from Shars, and I believe it's a 30-piece. I have everything up to an inch by 30 seconds. That sounds right. Uh, and then I've bought a couple other Shars, just kind of in-betweeners that I needed for my own uses. You can see here I've got about 3 thou of total runout, and with the indicator up and down, I marked where the high spot was, and then using a sticky note, I shimmed between the chuck and the backing plate, and it it totally worked. It got it down to under a half thou runout, which is just amazing. Um, the runout has come back, and I haven't really bothered to check why at this point because it's still running out less than my three jaw chuck does. But um, I need to do something more permanent than a sticky note. I'll probably get maybe some. Uh, brass shim stock or something to put back there. I imagine the the paper has collapsed or has taken on some humidity or whatever. Anyway, here you can see with using a hardened and ground dowel pin three inches away from the chuck, I'm still getting about a half thou run out, which is just fantastic. I couldn't be any more pleased. Uh, and that's it. Really basic. Check the description for the part numbers. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.